This here. This is my grandma's dog. She's called Jessie. Jess. It's uh, the road to my grandma. Lucky we are that there is isn't raining right now. Grandma is meeting us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my grandma's dog. She's called Jessie. Jess. Here you can see my grandma's house. It had not looked like that recently. It was renovated. That's why it looks much better now. My little kitty. He is called Murchik and Jessie. My grandma also keeps uh, some animals in the village. As you can see, uh, ducks and the little dogs, the rabbits. This cage was made by my father. As you can see, we have here little rabbits. Hey, they have some food to eat here, special cages. So I guess they live quite good here. And here you can see one of the village businesses. So my grandma cuts apples in such slices, as you see here. Then she puts them on the sun and they are drying out. And then these dried apples, she sells and gets some money for that. But still it's not a very profitable business, but still it brings some money. It's uh, one of the ways to make money in the village. And it's so-called uh, cellar. That's my granny house. Here we can have some garlic. That was from the previous year. Some provision for the animals. Again, garlic. Jesse, be careful. And now I'll show you how my granny keeps canned products. So here you can see the canned products that my grandmother prepared for the winter. Starting from tomatoes, different compotes, cucumbers, cabbages, meat, salads, zucchinis. So my grandma prepares it in summer and then the whole winter we eat these supplies. But still, this kind of sellers is very popular in Ukraine, especially among old people. Uh, I guess that it has some roots from the history, from the Soviet times, because people in that times were extremely scared by the hunger. And that's why every summer people prepared such kinds of canned products to survive in winter. That's why a lot of grannies in Ukraine, and not only grannies, I have this habit to prepare a lot of stuff for the winter because they are afraid to face this hunger again. As you can see, our grandma likes roses very much. She has a lot of them and she is interested in them. So we have to buy here some new flowers.
что у меня он дает, Яна? Хорошо. Роза, диви, и те лилейники. О, диви, вот и нравятся тебе, вот его. А есть еще не такие. Роза, тут то была, как ромашка подосвитала, Яна. Это страшно. А это вот эти розы, видишь, какие, Яна? Ты да, это лилии. Это не лилии, это какие-то линейники. Есть желтый, видишь? Ага. Да, у вас тут, конечно, квитник на миллион. У Астры у вас будут тоже. Есть, у меня тут айсик спики. Дуже спека. Ты такой уже был гладиолус, красивый, здоровенный. Посмотри. Посмотри. Ого. Червоный. Ну, красивый, да. То попадали он до та роза. Ось, сушта ему. Ну. Это вот очень фризантема красиво. Яка вона буде? Червона, здорові квітки. Такі здорові, Яна. Угу. Не дрібненькі, а здорові. So, uh, unfortunately, the camera cannot show you and demonstrate the smell that is here. But still, in this beautiful building, we have one big peak. Let me show you the peak that we have here. She's tired of you. Get off. So I want you to inform that. Uh, the goat's milk has extraordinary smell and taste, by the way, and um, not everyone can drink it. And the little kids. Meh. Meh. Bye-bye. Eat them!